In this video, we're going to learn how to evaluate the retrieval part of a RAG pipeline. We're going to do this using a library called Ranks, which defines itself as a library of fast ranking evaluation metrics implemented in Python, leveraging number for high speed vector operations and automatic parallelization. Now it has all the metrics you'd expect. So you can do hits, hitch ratio, precision recall, F1, and so on. Let's launch IPython, and then we're going to import some things from the Ranks library. We're going to start by initializing the QRELS dictionary. And so these are query relevance judgments. And so in our dictionary, we're going to have a key. So for example, Q1, that's a question, like number. And then as the value, we're going to have a dictionary, which is going to contain the documents that we expect to come back. So in here, we're going to say it's going to be D12, and we're just going to say the score is one. So if you wanted to do kind of more uh, precise Checking, you could put like the score, so you could have D12, 0.7, D10, 0.3, and so on. And we're going to do that for Q1, Q2, and Q3. And then we're going to initialize the QRLs class. And then we're going to create what they call a run. So we're going to have a run dictionary. And so a run is like the actual, what, what did you get when you ran your retriever? And so again, we're going to have the question. And then we're going to have a collection of what documents came back. So we're going to have Q1, we'll have Q2, and we'll have Q3. And then we'll initialize that into a run. Once we've done that, we can then evaluate the QRLs against the run, and we can say which metric do we want to use. So we're going to say hit rate, and it comes back 0.66. So out of the, the hits, we got two out of the three questions correct. Let's try something else. So we'll have an, a different run. So we'll have a run which only has Q1 and Q2 answers, and it's missing Q3. And then we'll initialize our run, and we'll go back and update the evaluation function and call it again. And you can see this time it says QRLs and run query IDs do not match. And that's because we, we put three, we had three questions and we only gave two answers. So it says use make comparable and we'll sort of fill it in with nothing. And if we do that, it then comes back and says, hey, you only got a hit ratio of 0.333. We can also use the compare function. And so here we can pass in the QRLs and then we can post it, pass in both runs. Again, we can choose which metric we have. And you can see it comes back here and now it compares them against each other. So we can see run one, 0.667, run two, 0.333. Now let's see how to use this with a real data set. So we're going to be working with a BBC article about the Olympics opening ceremony, which I've put into a DuckDB database. So let's initialize DuckDB. We're going to install the HTTPFS library and load it. And then we're going to attach a database to our DuckDB, which I've got on a GitHub repository. Again, I'll link that in the comments below. We're then going to use the Olympics database and then describe the table in there is also called Olympics. And you can see it comes back. So we've got index, we've got some embeddings, we've got text, we've got a URL and a title. Let's have a look at the index and the text. That's what's important from the perspective of this video. So you can see it comes back. We've got this basically a paragraph number and then it's got some text that are the bits of text on the page. Let's just have a quick look at our search.py. We see at the top, we've got our initializer. We can pass in our connection and then we're going to initialize an LLM. So it's going to be using Llama CPP with the mixed bread embedding algorithm. And then if we come down, we've got a full text search function, a vector search function, and then a hybrid search function that combines the two. Don't worry too much about how exactly those are implemented. If you're interested in knowing more, I'll put a link to those videos up there that explain how they work. Now we're ready to create runs for each of the search functions so that we can compare them to each other. So let's have a look at a set of questions that I prepared with a little bit of help from ChatGPT. So these are some questions that are answered by the BBC article. And you can see I've got the question and then I'm indicating which bit, which chunk answers it. So most of them are answered by one chunk, but some of them you can see there are two in that. Let's come back over to IPython and we're going to initialize QRELs. You can do that from a file and then we're going to import our search class and initialize that. And then we're going to create ourselves an array that have all the functions. So we'll have full text search, we'll have vector search, and we'll then have the hybrid one as well. Then we're going to create ourselves a function called create run. We're going to create a run dictionary that's going to go from the question and then to, it's going to have a string of the index and the score. And the score is going to come from iterating for four index and score over calling the retrieval function. So each of those retrieval functions, and we're going to select just the index and the score and then fetch all for each of the questions in QRELs. And then we're going to initialize a run at the end. And then we'll create ourselves an array where we call create run with the QRELs, the function and the name for the function and the name in that functions variable. And then once that will take a few seconds to run, so we'll speed it up a little bit, but then we can call our compare function, passing in the QRELs, passing in the runs, and we're interested in hit rate. And so we run that, you can see so full text hit rate 70%, so it's 20 questions, so it's got 14 correct. Vector search 75, so it's got 15, and then the hybrid has got 90%, so it's got 18 out of 20 questions correct. And now we're gonna have a look at which ones did we get right and which ones did we get wrong. So we're gonna use the rich library to, to 
initialize a console. We're also going to create ourselves a table. We'll then create some columns for the question and then each of the search techniques. And then we're going to iterate over the questions, filling in whether we got the question right or wrong. And then we'll have a look at the table. So you can see it comes back. So a lot of the time we've got it right. You can see we've got what started the day of the opening ceremony. The full text actually got it right, but the hybrid and the vector search have got it wrong. What things went wrong? That was kind of an ambiguous question. So I was kind of curious what was going to happen here and everybody got that wrong. But you can see a lot of the other ones, they got it right. So now we can have a look. We can sort of drill down and see which questions were answered incorrectly and how were they answered incorrectly. So we're going to write ourselves first a function called get text. What that's going to do is look up the text for an array of IDs that we passed in. So remember, we're using those indexes everywhere. So we're going to pass those in and get ourselves the actual text. And then we'll look up the hybrid run. We'll iterate over all the questions for that run and we'll check if the score is zero, so i.e. we got it wrong. Let's print out the question. We'll go and look up what are the correct IDs from the QRALS instance and we'll get the correct answer and we'll get the text for that. And so we'll put that on the uh, print that out and then we'll go and get what did we think the answer was and we'll print that out as well. And you can see it comes back. So if this is for hybrid search. So you see we got what we got, what things did we get wrong? So what started the day of the opening ceremony? So the day it started with major disruption on the French train network. So we didn't really get any anything correct there. We've got one about the miserable weather and one sort of talking about the beginning uh, of the ceremony itself. And then the second one we got wrong was, well, what things went wrong? And so I was looking for the answer that was talking about the torchbearer and it kind of identified some other things which aren't really about things going wrong. So if you want to see how to use this in a full RAG pipeline, you'll probably want to check out this video next.